And just remember, now you see that in at each ayah there is an incident. And in very brief words it has been described. We can't go into details. And just recall when you demanded from Moses, we will never accept you, we will never believe in you, unless we see Allah with our own eyes. Ayanan. When we see Allah with our own eyes clearly and plainly, only then we shall believe in you that actually this Torah has been given to you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On this wrong demand of yours, a thunderbolt struck you. And you are seeing it in, within your eyes and within your sight. When you demanded, when you placed this demand before Moses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala struck you with a thunderbolt. And you were all dead. Summa baasakum. But then we raised you again. We raised you alive again. After your death, you had died all of you. But we, then we brought all of you to life. So that you may be thankful and grateful. When they were in the Sinai desert, you know, when they came out from Egypt, they were in the Sinai Peninsula. And because this Gaza Strip was inhabited, and there was fear that they will be arrested if they, they cross this Sinai Peninsula from the northern coast. So they went down, you know, along this, uh, what is that called, Gulf of Suez. And then again the Gulf of Aqaba, then they came up. Came up. So then that was a long journey in the desert. There was nothing to eat. And 600,000 people, 6 lakhs of people, and they, they needed something to eat, something to drink. No water, no, no food, no shelter. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you see, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing them miracle after miracle. Their escape from Egypt was a miracle. The sea broke into two pieces. It was split. And there was a way for them to cross the river. Then when Pharaoh and his armies came, the two sides of the water met each other and they were drowned. Well, it was a miracle, big miracle. Now three miracles are mentioned here. وَزَلَّلْنَا عَلَيْكُمُ الْغَمَامِ And we caused the clouds to overshadow you. Wherever this caravan of 600 people was moving, a continuous cloud was going along with them. So that they are saved from the heat of the sun. وَزَلَّلْنَا عَلَيْكُمُ الْغَمَامِ We gave you the shadow of cloud. وَزَلَّلْنَا عَلَيْكُمُ الْمَنَّ وَالسَّلْوَى and we sent down for you the man and salwa. Man was some sweet grains. And salwa was some birds which came in thousands. And they easily caught them. So they got their proteins from salwa and their carbohydrates from man. So all the requirements, dietary requirements, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfilled for them by a miracle. Man and salwa. Kulu min Eat from the pure things which we have given you. Wama zalamuna and they that didn't do any wrong to us. They couldn't do any wrong to us. Walakin Kanu and Fusong just the moon. They were doing wrong to themselves. When somebody is not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is doing no harm to Allah. He is doing all harm to himself. Wama zalamuna walakin kanu and fusong just the moon. How can anybody harm do any harm to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He is above all these things. So anybody who is disobeying him is doing harm to himself. 